let's look at types of fractions. Number one, we have proper fraction. What is a proper fraction? A proper fraction is a fraction where the numerator is smaller than the denominator. The numerator is smaller than the denominator. An example is just like a mom carrying her baby. A mom is carrying her baby. It is normal. Look at examples of numerator, examples of proper fractions. We have 2 over 3, 3 over 5, 5 over 7. Here you find out that the numerators are smaller than the denominators. Let's look at number 2, improper fraction. An improper fraction is where the numerator is bigger. You can imagine a child backing the mom or the dad. Is it normal? No, it's improper. Let's look at some of the examples of an improper fraction. We have 3 all over 2, comma, we have 5 over 3, comma, we have 9 over 4, comma, we have 7 over 2, and so on. The numerators here are bigger than the denominators. Number 3, mixed numbers. That is a whole number and a proper fraction. The combination of a whole number with a proper fraction. An example is one whole number, two over five, comma, three whole number, seven over nine, comma, seven whole number, five over twenty-three. And so on. Hope you enjoyed the class. Bye bye. I'll meet you in the next class. Let's look at types of fractions. Number one, we have proper fraction. What is a proper fraction? A proper fraction is a fraction where the numerator is smaller than the denominator. The numerator is smaller than the denominator. An example is just like a mom carrying her baby. A mom is carrying her baby. It is normal. Look at examples of numerator, examples of proper fractions. We have 2 over 3, 3 over 5, 5 over 7. Here you find out that the numerators are smaller than the denominators. Let's look at number 2, improper fraction. An improper fraction is where the numerator is bigger. You can imagine a child backing the mom or the dad. Is it normal? No, it's improper. Let's look at some of the examples of an improper fraction. We have 3 all over 